Zero Hedge has a great article yesterday on credit hitting an absolute wall. In short, it's much worse than a normal recession, at least so far, suggesting something fundamental may have broken in the economy. So first, what happened? The article by One River's Eric Peters describes a major developer with a strong track record who's putting up a 30-story project in a top-tier U.S. city. Their lender suddenly pulled financing, meaning they had to scramble to find another bank. They called, quote, well over 100 banks, not one will provide financing. By the way, the developer had built right through the 2008 crisis, where real estate was literally ground zero, and says he has never seen anything like this. So this should not be happening. It shouldn't be this bad, not this early. Higher rates on loans, sure, but not 100 banks refusing to lend at all to a major developer in a major city. Worse, we're already seeing more of this. Last week, I talked about major banks rescinding their car dealer floor plans. That's how dealers get a hold of cars in the first place. If this is happening more widely, it suggests banks are absolutely panicked, suggesting the entire banking system is in danger of seizing up. That would, of course, be catastrophic for jobs, for the businesses that maintain those jobs. It would also be catastrophic for customers who've grown utterly dependent on a free flow of credit. So why is this abnormal? Well, in a normal recession, it happens when credit is suddenly choked off. That causes a bunch of businesses to fail all at once. This normally doesn't happen on its own outside of war or a social collapse. Those are things that would make everybody suddenly stop lending. But modern central banks managed to pull this off with ease by simply yanking up interest rates. They do that to fight the inflation they caused with ease by yanking interest rates too low in the first place. Now, in a normal recession from the outside, what we see is business loans might go from 4% to 8%. Car loans might go from 0% to 7%. This calls the herd, wiping out the crappy businesses, the malinvestments, that only survived on the cheap money. And consumers, of course, pull back. Taken together, that is a classic recession. But this time is different. So far, at least, it is a lot worse. Loans aren't just getting more expensive, they are hitting a complete wall. If this keeps up, we could see loans dry up for cars, for businesses, small businesses especially, even mortgages, financing for things like replacing your roof. This would be extraordinarily disruptive to an American economy that's grown utterly dependent on 20 years of almost uninterrupted easy money and the credit it pours on them. Like a bicycle, if you stop pedaling, it could fall down. So what happens next? If credit has hit a wall, we will see deafening demands for the Fed to step in and print up what nobody will loan, meaning a return to the very inflation that kicked off the recession in the first place. We'll know over the next 12 to 18 months if this is just a normal recession or if indeed we are in new territory. But in the meantime, reports like this are certainly not encouraging. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.